Now is the time, Portalmaster. Hey everybody, this is Mike with SkylanderNuts.com. I'm here today to do another Skylanders character review. Now today's character, most of you already know. It's Spitfire. He comes with the game. At least he comes with most versions of the game. Spitfire and the Hot Streak are the leaders of the Superchargers. And if you have a Nintendo version of the game, you might not have played with these guys yet because the Nintendo version replaced these two with their own Nintendo versions of Bowser and Donkey Kong. So they are sold separately. If you want to get these characters, they might be someone that you want to think about getting, especially for land vehicle races. So let's take a, now a closer look at Spitfire. He is some sort of cool dragon-like character. I'm not exactly sure if he's more dragon or serpent. He's kind of snake-like. He's got this blue flamey snake body. Uh, the blue flame is nice and see-through. That's pretty cool. Gives him some uh, extra powerful look, some speed, I guess, maybe. It's just cool to have it be see-through. You can even see into his body if he... I'm not sure if it comes up on the camera, but his body's got this metallic snake-like skeleton in it. I don't know if that's on purpose or if it's just hiding his insides and that's just the way it looks. But it's pretty cool to look inside and see that, uh, that body that the flame is surrounding. So he's got this... The rest of him is full of this like armor. It's almost snake scale-like armor that's on his back and his head all the way down to his tail a little bit. That's pretty cool. Um, he is a fire-based element Skylander, so he uses that fire and the flame that's all around him uh, as part of his attacks, and it's pretty cool. He's also, of course, a supercharger. He's one of the fastest racers in Skylands before he had an accident, and he is going to show you that speed when we get a look at his attacks. All right, let's take a look at the hot streak. Here's the hot streak. It's pretty cool looking too. It has nice blue wheels. I think that's it, it matches the flaming look of Spitfire. So it's pretty cool to have that see-through blue uh, included in the car. Now the top of the car is mostly red with some blue highlights. That's pretty cool. And then the back is a little bit of black because while well, all the flames come shooting out of here and the car goes so fast, it kind of leaves some burn marks, I guess, on the back. And that's pretty cool, the, the way that the red slowly changes into the black. I really like that. It's also got a little bit of front-end grill look. It's a nice basic car. It's a Roadster, four wheels, nothing too crazy. We don't have a crazy-looking vehicle to be the center icon of the game. Uh, pretty nice. I like the hot streak a lot. And Spitfire is pretty cool, too. So both of these guys... They have a dark version, so let's get those in here. Boom. Now the dark versions are, as you would expect, just black and silver. Now it looks kind of cool, as all black and silver characters do, but I think it takes away in this case. It just makes it a little more boring to what the uh, other regular normal characters have. So you can't see through his body because it's black. His blackness is not see-through, so it's just kind of dull. It's a dull matte paint finish. And unlike the regular Spitfire, his metal pieces on him, his the red, what was normally red and looked like exhaust pipes, are now silver. And they kind of blend in with his body and his scaly armor across his body. And that's just, that's okay, I guess, but I think he loses something without... Uh, he loses a bit of detail. Same with the hot streak. Now it's cool that they kept the blue flaming wheels, but they no longer matched anything on Spitfire. So if you didn't have the regular version of Spitfire, you really wouldn't know why his wheels are flaming clear blue. The rest of his car is just black and silver. That's okay, but again, it kind of I, I kind of miss the tritone look of the regular red, blue, and black hot streak so there's the back part of them still fire skylanders not dark type they're fire type because they're just the dark edition versions they came with the special collector's edition of the game 
and that's the only way you can get these guys. Now if you do have the Nintendo version, you can buy these guys separately at the store. So you might want to consider doing that for the land races and for the adventure because they are pretty powerful characters. We're going to go take them in the game now. We're going to get a look at their attacks. I'm going to set up Battle Brawl Island and Ride Pocalypse Demo Derby for this guy. We're going to look at the attacks of Spitfire. We're going to look at both upgrade paths and then we'll take a look at the hot streak and see what it can do in the arena battles and talk a little bit about its racing speed. So I'm going to be right back, get these guys on the portal in the game, and I'll see you back in a minute. Hot streak. Blaze boosters. Blue fire tires. Fire grill. Supercharged. All right, everybody, I am back, and I have Spitfire and the Hot Streak on the portal. I'm all set up at Battle Brawl Island, as usual, to show you the moves of Spitfire. So let's get back into the game. All right, now Spitfire's basic attack is called Butane Brawling. He is a melee character. He's one of the few melee characters in Skylanders this year. So the first attack by pressing the X button, well, you kind of saw it happen. It's just a punch, like that. Boom, a couple damage, 63, not too bad. Not too bad at all. But of course, you don't just wanna sit there and hit the button once, you wanna hit it over and over and over again. Now at the end of there, you saw that little spinning attack. That's his combo finisher that we get after an upgrade called Intensified Fury. So once you have that upgrade, his final attack, he'll just spin. You see that last spin there? Kind of spins and hits the enemy a couple more times. So that's a little nice finisher to your melee attack there. Let's see, finish him off with that. Boom, no problem. It's, it does a good amount of damage. Now his next attack is something that we're kind of familiar with. It's called the flash fire. If you hit the attack two button, you see that? He dashes, boom. It's very fast. You hit the button over and over again and you can dash quickly across the entire screen. Now of course you can use this to get away from enemies, to position yourself better, or to run right through the enemy. It's pretty powerful. It's not so much powerful as it is so fast that you can do it many times to uh, dish all the damage out. Alright, now what you saw me do right there is called a Flamnado. His third upgrade is a pretty cool attack. It's kind of a ranged attack. If I stand back and hit the attack 3 button, he generates this Flamnado which goes out and... Well, that time it didn't kill a sheep. There it goes attacks a few sheeps, goes through whatever's in its path, and does some pretty high damage. Now we have some upgrades on this flame nato, so it's, you're not seeing it in its basic form. As you can see, it's trailing after the enemy. It'll change direction. That's due to an upgrade called Flame Fury. Oh, I'm sorry. That's... I misread that. It's due to an upgrade called Flame Nado Chasers. That makes more sense. We'll look at the Flame Fury in a minute. But the Flame Nado Chasers makes that tornado, fire tornado, spin after uh, whatever enemy is nearest to it. All right, so let's just dash through these sheep and get them off here so we can get to some more enemies. Well, I can show you the Flame Fury right now. Sometimes it's better to show these moves with the sheep, especially because there's multiple ones. The Flame Fury upgrade allows you to charge up your dash attack. So if you hold the attack two button for a little bit, let's see, there he turned blue, then he dashes kind of back and forth. You almost can't even see him do it. There, he did two directions. Sometimes he goes in a different direction it's just very fast. It's pretty powerful. My only problem with this attack is that you can't really control where it's going to go. And 
I think it's just easier to hit that attack two button a couple more times and go in the direction you want to go. See, just like that. Why hold it down? You know, it's not going to necessarily hit. It hits both of those guys, but eh, I'll just go through like this. All right, let's throw out a flame nato. That'll take care of them. And now I can just dash through these guys. You can dash so fast by the time the grenades try to go off, you're already gone out of the explosion zone, that radius they have. So it's almost hard to take a hit when you're dashing around. It's a very powerful attack. It reminds me a lot of the attack of High Five. He had a very fast dash attack just like this. And it made him unstoppable. And Spitfire is more the same. So if you're smart, you, you don't, that's, these slower big guys can't hit you. You just go right through them. I can throw out a Flamnado and have it do some work as I get out of the way and just wait. Look at that. See? I didn't have to do anything. The Flamnado took care of it for me. Alright, we gotta quickly get to the specialized pass before I run out of time. This guy is so powerful. We have a Flame NATO 2. I have chosen for this Spitfire the Fusion Path. This path will improve the strength of his storm attacks, basically his Flame NATO. This Flame NATO 2 upgrade allows you to send out two at once. That's pretty powerful. That's really the main draw of this upgrade path. It took care of the food thief there in no time, the two of them. Now he's got a couple other upgrades, but they just aren't very exciting. The first one is called Fuel Injected Claws. This basically allows you to do more melee damage. So you really can't tell what happens. I think he does about, oh, 10, eight to 10 more damage on the typical melee punch here based on that upgrade. So from about 54 to 64, somewhere in that range. Uh, for some of those guys. His other upgrade is called Volcanic Armor. So you can kind of see he's burning a little bit there. I think that's his Volcanic Armor. Let's see how many hits he can take. Yeah. Does a little bit of damage to him. I guess it'll do less damage though now that he has the Volcanic Armor. So that's his other upgrade. Now let's show you the Soul Gem ability real fast. The Soul Gem ability is called the Flame Doing. Now, maybe it's called the Flame Doing. I guess I don't know if it's Tornado, Flame Nado, doesn't really matter. But what it does is it'll cause a, an explosion at the beginning of each Flame Nado. So let's see if we can catch that. There's the explosion. Did you see it? It's very quick. There it is. Now, I don't find this very useful because typically if I'm using the Flame Nato attack, I'm going to run away from the enemy and then use it like that. And as you saw, the explosion does nothing while I'm so far away from the enemy. So, not very useful of a Soul Gem ability in my opinion. It's kind of his only weakness, I think. He doesn't need the Soul Gem because his dash attack can get the job done. All right, well, let me switch Spitfires real quick so I can show you his other path. The other path is called the Speed Demon Path. Now, this path is going to concentrate on upgrading his dash attack. Now, I don't really know if I like this path any better. The other path, the two Flamnados, was really, uh, they do a lot of good damage. Plus, even though it's boring, a little extra melee attack never hurt. The first upgrade in this path is called Mega Marathon. He can gain some additional power when he holds the attack two button down. Now, watch this carefully. So I'm gonna hold, well, I'm gonna wait till I dodge this attack. I'm going to hold it down, he's going to turn blue, now he turned red. Did you see? After he turns red, it, basically this Mega Marathon gives you a third level of attack. The other one was that first upgrade 
called Flame Fury, which allows him to go back and forth when he's blue like this. No big deal. But when I hold it to make him red, he'll go basically all the way around Skylands, comes back just like that. Uh, it's okay. It's doing some damage for sure. But it's not the best. Now let's show you with some of these other guys here. Took out one guy. Whoops, I let go too early and I did the other upgrade. Which is good because I'm getting beat up here. Alright, the problem with this attack is this. Well, that time I nailed all of them. Usually you still only hit the one enemy you aim at. It's very powerful though. As you can see there, I burned the life spell punk. Uh, I hit him twice. Once when I went through him and once when I came back. So, not too bad. Now, this attack is a little better when you give it the triathlete upgrade. The triathlete upgrade allows you to just tap that attack 2 button again once he comes back to immediately do a second round trip. And you can do this up to two times, or a total of three, thus the tri part of the triathlete. So let's hold it down and go one. Oh, I missed. It wasn't lined up. One, two, and I didn't hit it the third time. One, two, three. There you go. So it is good if there's maybe a lot of enemies on the screen, or you can really line it up good and give someone three quick attacks. All right, the last upgrade of this path, the Speed Demon Path, is called Nitro Boost. Again, it has to do with holding down the attack 2 button. So I'm going to hold it and get fully charged. And now watch. He moves faster now. Now, I haven't let go of the button, so I'm still fully charged. But during this time I'm fully charged, he moves about twice as fast. I can dodge these things a little easier. So here's his normal speed. Okay. Now I'm going to hold it down move and then as soon as he turns pink he gets this extra boost that's called nitro boost uh it's pretty good i guess if you want to line up your attack and then there i just did a triathlete on him try it again one two three i took out the one spell punk with that the real problem with this attack isn't how powerful it is but it's how much of a straight line he goes in so everything has to be lined up. There's no way I'm going to take out both these guys with this one attack unless I just line it up perfectly. Well, but I guess maybe that's a small price to pay for being able to smash through them so easily. There I got one of the minions on the coming through. I don't know. It's kind of fun, but I rather just throw out some flame nados and dash myself through everybody. Letting the flame nato take out some of them while I concentrate on maybe an important enemy. Like that life spike spell punk. Throw it out there and just blast them. Alright, so that's about that's about it for Spitfire. I will take out spell slams are here, some melee, some dashing. I like dashing, that's kind of my bread and butter for attacking these guys. Throw out a flame nato. Dash out of the way of the... Hold it down. Give him a final try athlete for the kill. Alright. So that was Spitfire. In you know, he's pretty cool. He comes with the game. Most of you already know what he's capable of. Uh, those of you that maybe got the Nintendo version, you might not have Spitfire. So in your case, I kind of would recommend you go out and get him. He is sold separately now. So pretty good character. Well, I'm going to switch over now and take a look at the hot streak. So I'll be back in just one second and I'll be set up with the hot streak on the portal so I'll be right back all right I'm back how was that for fast that was just about as fast as hot streak I think all right so hot streak and spitfire they make a great combination of speed and now I have hot streak on the portal and I'm going to show you 
his attacks as part of the Ride Apocalypse Demo Derby level. So let's get back into that level now. Now I really like Hot Streak. I think he's one of the strongest vehicles in the game. Um, very fast. Maybe not, maybe not the fastest for the races. Uh, he also has some armor issues with the races. He could be knocked out kind of easily. But his attacks are fairly powerful. His first attack is called Fire Grill. And if you hold the attack one button down, you'll get this flame out. This, it just never stops. Now watch how much damage it does when I get it locked on. Did you see that? It was like 3, 3, 200, and then it blows up. That's pretty powerful. As long as you can keep it on the enemy, it's really pretty powerful. Now, it's powerful for my hot streak because my hot streak is maxed out with his attack uh, upgrades. And so it makes this attack very easy to use and just it's just like sp spraying something with water and knocking it back it's just super easy uh, to use in single player it's easy to use if you watched the boys and I play our Skylander Nuts plays supercharger series you know that one person drives one person shoots and you gotta really aim a lot more like this just uh, kinda automatically aims and locks on anyone who's in front of me so it's pretty easy to drive by, drive around, and you know, still do some good attacking. Very powerful attack. Alright, his other attack is called Nitro Blaze, and as you would expect, it matches with Spitfire's dash attack. By pressing the attack 3 button, you can zoom right through enemies. Also helps you pick up those coins at a better rate. I'm gonna use this attack on this little boss here, Dread Roller. I'm just gonna basically dash right through him. See that? Press it. it he, you can see this little ball of flame that Hot Streak becomes when he does it. He does quite a bit of damage, but as you can see, it's kind of slow to line up and do it again. It's better for the smaller enemies and just running through a bunch of them when you can. It also gives you a nice little speed boost, so if you need to get away, you can see I get fairly good distance from him. Alright, but I've only got him down about a quarter of the way with this attack, so I'm going to switch back over to the flame attack and I'm just gonna lay it on him. I don't have to move, I can stand still and do it. I'll take some hits. The armor's not super great, but it is maxed out right now, so. There, in no time I took him out with his original fire grill attack. There I am, super class champion again. All right, so that was a look at Hot Streak. It is pretty awesome as a vehicle, as an attacking vehicle. In the adventure mode, it's great. In the racing, it's pretty good too. You can use that same fire grill attack to take out your enemies rather quickly as long as you're going at the same speed with them and they haven't like flown by you or something when you're slowed down. So, you know, not bad. And the Nitro Blaze attack in the race is kind of works it can get you a little bit of boost head start um, you can attack your guys from behind but you got to be really close to them for that nitro blaze to do any damage in a race it's kind of better used near the finish line to give you that little extra oomph to try to pass somebody right at the last second the only downside with the hot streak is its armor you didn't really see it in this part of the video but when you're racing in the races there are certain enemies with some heavy attacks that will do some damage to the hot streak. So you definitely want to watch out for that. It can be a little frustrating racing with the hot streak because the hot streak is fast. You'll get out in the lead pretty quick, 
but you'll be shot down pretty quick as well and then you'll have to make your way back up to the front so it's this constant like push and pull going up to the front getting knocked back a little bit going up to the front and you can lose quite a few races just at the end because the armor isn't quite good enough that said everyone who has hot streak and spitfire probably already knows that there are some go-to characters in the game when you really have it tough and you really want to get through something you grab these guys especially if you've upgraded them you put them on the portal and you get through the tough parts with them they're two of the best Skylanders in the game, and luckily for us, they came with the game again. Uh, it seems like every year there's a great Skylander in the game. I remember um, Snapshot was really good as a trap master. He just had massive attacks, and he was a lot of fun to play with. So it's a good thing that he comes with the game. Now, if you have the Nintendo version, he doesn't come with it. I would highly recommend you go get him if you need a land vehicle. Um, Donkey Kong's not too bad, but I think Hot Streak is probably a little better. Now, that's not to say you have to get them. There are other vehicles for land that are pretty good as well, and we'll see some of those here, I think, in a bit. I think I already reviewed Thump Truck. He was surprisingly um, good and fast. Maybe not quite as fast as Hot Streak, but a lot faster than you would think, and Thump Truck can win races as well. But I'm going to give Hot Streak a solid 9. If it wasn't for his armor, he might get a higher score. But you're just going to get frustrated on some of those races a little bit. And I'm also going to give Spitfire a 9. He's got amazing attacks, a good range of attacks, whether you like melee or you like to stand kind of back and throw up the flame nados. You can do whichever. And you can always use that dash to get out of trouble. The dash is just the key. It makes him... Um, extremely easy to use and extremely powerful. Now, the only reason he doesn't have kind of a high score is his soul gem attack is kind of boring. I mean, you throw those little explosions, and if somebody's around, yeah, it does some damage. You can't really tell because the flame nato then goes and hits a guy as well and does some more damage. And a lot of times you're not throwing those flame nados around any enemies, so the explosion goes to waste. It's just not very spectacular, and it's not very becoming of a soul gem attack, I feel. So, those small grievances aside, though, they're great characters. That's why they both get nines, and, you know, let me know if you agree in the comments. I love to hear when other people uh, have their own opinions, because, you know, everybody uses the Skylanders a little differently. So, it's very exciting to see how people use them and where people find that you know Skylander helps them out well all right well that's gonna wrap it up for this review uh, come back and watch another one of my reviews in the future I'll be back to do somebody else in a week or two uh, I hope you enjoy playing Skylanders and until next time keep having fun and I'll see you soon